Hello, welcome to another video of Code Snippet. So in this video, we are going to look into how to set up your Spring Boot project from the scratch. Many of the beginner struggle to do this. So I'm going to show you actual demo how we are going to set up our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So first thing we are going to look into is how you are going to set up your Spring Boot project, right? So in order to do that, first thing you need to do is you need to go to your browser and load this website. So you can go to start.spring.io. The moment you load it, you will get a UI like this, right? So basically from this website, you will be able to download a zip file, which you can directly open inside your favorite IDE, right? So here, this is basically a spring initializer. So the first thing we are looking at is a build tool, right? So in the spring introductory video, there is one step with build tool, right? So this is basically the build tool. We have options of Gradle, Groovy, Gradle, Kotlin and Maven, right? Maven is something which we are going to select in this video and i already have created a video on maven and i have explained the maven architecture completely so basically maven is a build tool and maven helps you to design your project and download dependencies for your project right second thing we are going to choose from here is a language right you can choose between these three languages java kotlin and groovy i am going to select java over here after that you can select the spring boot version whichever version you want i'm just selecting the default over here right after that we have a project metadata right so first thing here is group. So group is kind of a company name that you have. For example, I can add, let's say code snippet over here since this is our channel's name. Usually if you are a corporate employee, it will be like name of your organization. For example, it will be like com.google.something, right? After that artifact is basically the name of your application. So let's say spring demo application. That is basically the name and some description you can give over here and this is basically entire package name that will be created inside your spring boot application right and it will be created so that's about project metadata next thing is packaging right so do you want to create jar or do you want to create war right so you can select it from here so what is jar and what is war basically so jar is basically java archive okay so that is the full form basically java archive right and war is web archive right what is the difference basically so so Java archive we should use when we want to design a standalone application. What is standalone application? So it's basically just an application that we will start and the request from the user will directly come to that application and the application will give the response, right? That is our standalone application, right? So in such cases, you need to go with jar, okay? Mostly it is kind of a backend application, standalone application for which you send the request and get the response, that's it. So war is basically web archive. So when you have HTML files, you have CSS files, you have JavaScript files in your application and you want to create a web application basically when there will be a UI, UI will take data from your application, it will call backend APIs, right? And you are going to deploy it and the user will interact with UI. In that case, it is kind of a web application. In that case, you should go with war, right? So that is basically the difference between them. So here I'm just creating a standalone project. So I'll go with jar. And here you can select the latest version of Java is 22, 21, 17. We'll keep 17 over here. And here at the right side, you see dependencies, right? So for now, we don't have any dependency added. What we can do is we can click here and we can just add dependencies. For example, let's say Spring Web. So Spring Web is a dependency which we use for creating Spring MVC applications or web applications, let's say. Uses Apache Tomcat as the default embedded container. Okay, so that will give us server on which we can deploy our application or start our application in the local right so that's why i'm adding it over here so basically there are many dependencies which you can choose from here depending on your requirement you don't need to do it right away from here you can just settle for this as well but if you already know that in your project you are going to use certain libraries then you can add it for example i know i'm going to connect to let's say database so what i will do i'll add jpa as well so J jpa is something which you can add to use databases right so basically it is java persistence api right so this we will see in future videos right also now we are adding jpa so we need database as well so for quick demonstration purpose we can have h2 database h2 is basically in memory database which you can use in your local application it's kind of local database right which you can use for testing purpose inside your local environment right so that is the primary purpose so i'll just add that as well 
once you're done with everything over here what you can do is you can just say generate once you say generate a zip file will be downloaded for you spring demo application right so this zip file will contain your entire project right and that project you need to import into one of your favorite id right right so now we have downloaded it so let's see where it is so i'll just pull this over here so this is basically the zip file that we have downloaded right so what we will do we'll just extract it first so here if you see we have the source folder and we have something called as pop right we can import this project inside our ide right so here i personally use intellij right so those who use intellij there is one more option to create a spring project so you can just go to new you can say new project and here you will have option to create a spring boot project right but this option you will only get if you have ultimate edition of intellij which is not free you will have to pay something so if you are going with community edition you won't get this option so so in that case you can use this way basically spring initializer that, that we are seeing currently right so this is basically some other application so what you can do over here is you can go to file and you can say open right in order to open the project that we have downloaded you can just go to the project location so this is what we have opened in our finder right same thing so here what you can do just select your palm file and say open once you say it will just give you option that do you want to open just a POM file or open this as a project. So we want to open this as a project. So what we'll do, click on this. Once you open this, you will see something like this, right? So in this, you will have something called a source folder. Inside that we have main. In Java, we have the same package that we have written over here, right? So this is basically com.codesnippet.spring demo application. So same thing you will be able to see over here, com.codesnippet.spring demo application, right? and you will have a main application file over here so if you open that you will have that particular file spring demo application application right it is basically the name of your application appended application to it and it will have the main method right it will just start your spring boot project from over here and you will also have the pom file in which you will have the dependencies that we have selected while creating the project so we have selected spring web spring data jp and h2 right so here if you scroll down you will be able to see that spring boot starter web is there h2 database is there and so spring boot starter test will be there by default in order to write the unit tests right and there is a maven plugin as well and there should be jp as well so there we go this we have jp as well since we have added it over here right so that is basically the project that we have right and this is how you can open it inside your application now how to run it you can go to your application file and run it from here as well so run spring boot application so when you do that it will just start your application on tomcat server and it will start on your default port basically 8080 it should be right so now if you go inside your application and let's say host colon 8080 then basically your application will be started you are getting nothing because there is nothing in your application it's empty application right so basically your application is up and running basically so that's how you can set up your spring boot application right so that's about the setup so that's how you can set up your spring boot application and that marks the end of our first part of the video right how to set up your spring boot application now next we are going to see the layered architecture the layered architecture that most of the companies use right so what we can do is to keep the video short we can cover that in another video so what i will do i'll create another video on that and upload it right after this video so that marks the end of this video layered architecture we will see as a part of other video so layered architecture is again a very important topic so if you don't want to miss that subscribe to my channel now if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to share this video with your friends so that they can also learn spring boot and how to set up the spring boot project that's it for video thanks for watching see you in the next video